Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments, and um, today is Oracle Tarot Tuesday Oracle. So I'm gonna be using the Marissa Moments self-made Oracle deck, and I know it shows up backwards, but you get the drift. Anyway, so I'm gonna speed this up and do a quick shuffle, so here we go. Okay, so hopefully I wasn't breathing too heavily on that part. But um, so I have three cards for you. So the first two that kind of popped up together are ask for what you need. Now I know it's gonna show up backwards, so I will put it up there for you to read. And then <laughs> this one is actually one of my personal favorites. Unless you work food service, stop catering. <laughs> Unless you work food service, stop catering. catering. And the one that flew out of the deck onto the floor, I had to lean over to grab it, is take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Now, let's get a little bit more in detail and depth on these. So what I receive from these two together, because they do, did pop up together, ask for what you need, and unless you work food service, stop catering. Now, what Spirit is trying to tell us in this situation is we continue to put ourselves out there. You continue to put yourself out there to a state of depletion is what I receive, right? And in the interim, you're, you're just left in this complete space of deficit, right? But what you need to start doing is asking for what you need. Now, whether this be an actual person within this 3D realm, maybe it's a friend, maybe, maybe it's an associate, right? Don't be afraid to ask for what you need. So what I receive even further is that a part of your programming has been to be the martyr, right? To be the person to give up your end all be all. I give my last dollar to anyone, right? And then that's been a, a place of pride for you, right? However, what I receive behind that is that even though you're giving up your last dollar, you're leaving yourself in such a state and place that you don't even have enough energy or enough coin, right? To further yourself. And if you can't further yourself, how are you expecting to further those around you? Now, what we have to do and, and what I'm receiving from this is that you consider that to be so selfish, right? No, I have to give my last, I have to give my all, I have to do all of these things have been programmed into you time and time again. And it's been programmed in such a way that it feels like you are the savior when you do this. However, what I'm receiving is that even within that, that realm, right? Even within the realm of serving others, you have to have those moments to yourself in order to refill yourself, right? And that's why this card literally jumped out of the deck and said, take care of yourself. Because it's like, <laughs> above all this, you need to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. We all know that analogy of, when you're on the airplane and the oxygen mask drop down, you have to put yours on first before you help someone else. That is what spirit is reminding you of. And also reminding you that that is not selfish. That is the way in, or in which you are best able to help those around you, right? You don't need to continue to cater because what I'm also receiving behind that is that when you continue to cater, you start building up all of these resentments, right? You're like, oh, how dare they ask me? But yet you're the first one to volunteer, right? So what Spirit is saying is that you need to listen to those resentments and start taking care of yourself. Start doing things for yourself in such a way, like what I see is almost like pouring into your own cup, right? Because what you've been doing up to this point is you've been the hostess with the mostest, right? Whether, regardless of gender, regardless of uh, any type of background, that's, that's a moot point, right? It doesn't matter. But you've been the hostess with the mostest and you've had this pitcher and you've been pouring into everyone's cup, everyone's cup, everyone's cup until that pitcher is completely empty and then you have your own cup and you're like, crap, right? And yet at the same time, even though internally you're thinking, crap, now I'm thirsty. I done, done did all this work. I done gave everybody some. Did nobody notice that I didn't have any? Why didn't anybody hold up my cup so it could be filled too? But what Spirit is saying is that you got to get out of that space, right? You're not the victim in the situation. You have to start taking care of yourself. You have to understand that when you have that picture, you have that power, right? Ooh, did you pick that up? When you have that picture, you have that power. So you need to start pouring into your own cup. How about this part? What Spirit is saying is pour into your own cup first, right? 
It's like when you get paid, right? When they say about savings and stuff like that, you have to pay yourself, right? And make and then make sure that you pay accordingly, right? Now I'm ta not talking about if you ain't got nothing, right? I understand. I <laughs> listen. I get it. But at the same time, you have to make sure that you are pouring into your own cup. Use that picture of power, that same, the same energy, the same efforts that you are pouring into everyone else around you to pour into yourself, to take care of yourself, regardless of what that looks like, because I know this is going to resonate and it means something different for everyone who's listening. That's how spirit works. That's how God gets to so many different people using one singular message, because you have to take it how it resonates for you, not how it resonates for your neighbor, because this ain't got, you ain't got nothing to do with your neighbor. Anyway, I'm starting to preach as opposed to giving you this whole reading, but this is your reading. This is your message. This is your word. Ask for what you need. Listen, stop catering, which is so funny because Spirit had me use that picture uh, analogy. And first and foremost, take care of yourself. Now, I'm not going to keep talking on and on because hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down because this is your message. This is your word. It is actionable. Now go do it. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.